All right, you guys ready? Yeah, what's this game even about? Is this guy on the cover an alien? No, he's fighting the aliens. Everybody grab a controller. Yeah, sure. Right. I'm telling you, there's no way this tops the marathon. What marathon? <sighs> this is just play. Fine. This is kind of fun. I know. Hey, what does this do? Come, Come on. on! Wait, was that a rocket launcher? This is the best game ever! Hey guys, can you hear me? Alright, let's try this online thing. It's so weird not to be in the same room. Well, I think it is kind of cool. I mean, I don't even have to put on pants. Please tell me you're wearing pants. You will never know. Hey, are we still going to that youth thing at your church? Yeah, in a couple hours. You coming, Taylor? Oh, I can't. I'm going on a date. Seriously? Why am I the last one to hear about this? Yeah, you didn't tell us, man. Uh, well, it just kind of happened. Oh, look, it's that battle rifle thing I read about online. Nah, it looks stupid. I'm gonna stick to my assault rifle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's day one. How are you this good? They probably got on the beta. Hackers. Hey, do you know where Teller is? He said he'd be on by now. I don't know. Do will the suckers. What? Man, that was so cheap! Dude, that never worked for you in Halo 2, Sam, so it's not gonna work for you now. Taylor, it's about time! Yeah, I ran late. I'll get it on the next game. Yeah, we'll need your help. What took you so long anyway? I was with Natalie. Natalie? Y'all back together again? Yeah, didn't she totally key your car? It was a misunderstanding. We worked it out. Really? Because it seems like you guys have a lot of misunderstandings. Hey, look, man, we care about each other, but you know what? I don't even know which I don't understand, so we'll just drop it. Hey, whatever, man. Hey, look, I just got this for Natalie. We're going out. I'll catch you guys later. 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 Man, I'm about to arm a lot piss like a boss. You know it runs out, right? Come on, I'm gonna run point and go for the flag. Oh, I'll cover you. No, 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 no. Oh, what happened, Sam? Man, it's not my fault. It's these noobs on our team. They're like eight years old or something. When we had Taylor playing with us, we never had this problem before. I don't want to talk about Taylor. No, man, we do need to talk about it. I heard he got arrested last week for shoplifting with Natalie. Y'all grew up together. Went to Sunday school together. Isn't he supposed to be your best friend? What do you want me to do, Sam? He's the one... <sighs> we lost the match. <sighs> I don't know what to do, Sam. I... Wait, did you just see that? Yeah, that's Taylor's gamer tag. Hello. Hey, man, you haven't been up here in a while. What's up? Yeah, I heard Reese just came out. I figured you guys might be up here. You know it. You want to hop in with us? Nah, um... I just came online to let you guys know I'm going out of town. Out of town? Where? For, for how long? Look, we've been friends a long time. I just figured you guys should know, so goodbye, I guess. Well, this is random. Tell her, I don't. Bye, guys. He's gone. Hey, welcome to Video Game Heaven. How can I help you? Oh, yeah, um, picking up my pre-order for Halo 4. Okay, what's the name? Uh, Ben Seller. Okay. I'll be with you in one second, sir. Sure. Taylor? Ben! How's it going, man? How long has it been? Two years. Over two years. It's good to see you, man. What are you doing back? Are you here for good? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm here for good. I was actually going to call you and see if maybe we can go to Sunday service together or something like that. I'm glad you're back, man. Yeah. Me too. Natalie, are you two still? <laughs> nah, that train finally wrecked. Uh, we have a kid now, but she's not really in the picture. Oh, I guess things have changed a lot. Yeah, I guess they have. Hey, buddy. Oh. Thanks, man. <laughs> Whoa, is that a new Halo? Yeah, Halo 4. I thought the series was over. We all did. We all did. <laughs> well, I guess I'm about to bust out my controller and... Oh, hold on. Hey man, I gotta take this. But yeah. I'm gonna catch up with you again, I promise. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Hey Monty, where from is that? Yeah, put him on. Hey Ben, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, that'll be on soon.
you have a life is awesome as mine. You live it and you live it hard. Cause you all in your grind. And if you're doing it good. And if you're doing it right. I like right. And I like, like my Lord Jesus Christ. Uh. What's up guys, I'm Jalen, this is Zell, this is a special Halo 4 edition of Face Rocking. So Halo 4 is coming out, Halo is a franchise that's been out for over 10 years now. Halo 1 came out in 2001 by, um, made by a company named Bungie. Yeah. And um, it's a really great game and it immediately just kind of changed the landscape of the game. It really did, whether you like it or not, Halo made a big change, it's here to stay. And so now we're on Halo 4. This is not the fourth Halo game, but it is Halo 4. There's been a lot of games, we're gonna talk about some of those, touch on those a little bit, and just talk about basically what impact Halo has had on the gaming industry, memories we have of it, fun times we've had, things we remember, impacts had on us, and then going forward, what we expect from Halo 4 and why we're looking forward to it. Because Halo 4 comes out tomorrow, it's gonna be in stores. So yeah, can't wait. All right, all right. Here we go, Oh, scare him. Let's go. go Rough you, Rod Lodger. Mm -hmm. Fight. Yeah, baby. Hey. 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 Favorite part of the game right here, kill the scare. Oh. Oh, my favorite part was hit by two of them. That's what happened. Jacking it up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Shoot his legs, shoot his legs. So I'm doing The campaign of Halo to me is really, it's really good. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a part of Halo that, I mean, that's where it started. Before it was the, I mean, the multiplayer was always a part of it, but the campaign is really, is really what drives Halo. That's the story, you know. And it's a great story. If you're not even into, like, playing video games like that, it's a good story. My first experience with Halo, I mean, we got on Halo late, the both of us, uh, but I remember seeing my brother play Halo 2 a couple times, looked interesting, and then actually getting Halo 1 for Xbox way after Halo 2 was already released, and uh, playing co-op campaign with my brother. It was a lot of fun, it was just different. I just remember times we would hop in a Warthog and just I'd drive the Warthog, they'll be shooting, or vice versa. We're driving each other off of cliffs while yeah, driving Warthog. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and that's the great thing about Halo, you can play however you want to, and that's why I think it's really revolutionary, the series, because it's, I, you, there's no other game that had that such a that is like at the top of sand at, at the top of being a sandbox at the top of being a first person shooter and at the top of being a great multiplayer I, I don't think that there's a whole lot of other first person shooters that has a better campaign all I need is grab it into the face all I need grab is grab it into the face a couple of grenades a pistol and a precision weapon of some type of oh man grab it into the face Got me over to the face. Watch the guy with the uh, fuel rod gun over there. He just he just killed me. Where's he at? Uh, How did that get stuck? Oh, they killed me. No, do that. Because I was stuck. I wasn't a first person shooter person. You know, brother played a lot of platformers and stuff. Yeah. We had really a lot of people had experience with GoldenEye, but Halo was our first introduction really to first person shooters. Quite honestly, I mean, yeah. Halo One started it all, of course. I mean. That was a dark game, and I don't mean story-wise, like, brutal, I mean literally dark. <laughs> like, the lighting was terrible, <laughs> I mean, you get, it's so easy to get lost in yeah, there. If you ever get to, like, a, a area with, like, uh, ruins or mines, not mines, but kind of like a... Tunnels, underground, Yeah, tunnels, like that. or, like, a, that, that kind of thing. It was so dark, you had to, like, turn the, crank the brightness up on your TV, mm -hmm. and sometimes that might not have even been enough. I but, always remember my first contact with the flood that was creepy yeah. as I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's a lot of it's great memories, but it's, it's just fun. I just love Halo. I can play Halo, the first one now, campaign is to have fun with it. Multiplayer, you know, the, the first Halo, that was before there was Xbox Live, so you couldn't play that online, you know, to that degree. Um, so you had to like, have multiple Xboxes and everyone, if you wanted to play on your own separate screen, you had to get a group of friends together with separate TVs and separate Xboxes to be able to play on the full screen or how we always did it, we did split screen. Halo 3 was my first introduction to playing uh, multiplayer online. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that wasn't even when the game first came out, it was later on. I think Reach was already out. Yeah, Reach was already out of that point. Reach was yeah. already out when I started playing multiplayer on Halo 3. On every aspect, I've played as a casual gamer and now I play, you know, as a competitive player. But I think it's a perfect blend of both. You can be a casual gamer on campaign and then you can get your competitive nature to come out and um, multiplayer online and doing um, matchmaking mm -hmm. and things of that nature. So I think it's a perfect marriage of the two. Mm -hmm. Some games, the campaign is terrible. You don't really want to play it. And then you just get it for 
the uh, multiplayer. Someone could just play campaign and never play the multiplayer and still experience Halo. Someone can play the multiplayer and not play campaign and still experience Halo mm -hmm. because Halo is its community. It's bigger than just a game. Mm -hmm. It's a community. Can we just get to the? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Can we do it? Have the smart. I'm doing it. I probably really do need to have uh, an automatic gun. God, what the hell? God, I hate this thing. Yeah, yeah. Just die. When you're on the ground, that should mean you're dead. You should not be allowed to get back up. What are you doing, Marine? You're just back here chilling. Hey, I think I found it. Here we go. <gasps> you know, you keep getting in my way. <laughs> so Sir, that's exactly what you're supposed to do here. Shoot wildly, no aim or precision. Let's hope for the best. Wait, I guess if you shot. Blind me. fire. Oh okay. my god. Did you just you shoot me? Step blindly into and now I'm out of my automatic. No, you pick it up. And I think Halo really made an impact, you know, on the community as a whole, building a community of Halo. It's done something that it has a longevity that a lot of games don't necessarily have. Halo is one of those games where you just you pick it up and you play it and you just have fun. And I, I think it's the point of video games. We kind of missed that after a certain point. So there's a point now where some games just aren't fun anymore. They're epic, they're deep, make you think. But not all games are really just fun. Halo is a game without necessarily having to think. You can pick up multiplayer with your friends and just play. And that's why we are at where we are now with the release of Halo 4. And you can see just people being excited about it. I've been on YouTube watching videos from like all <laughs> from everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm ready for it. It, it looks great. I like the direction the game's going in. The campaign looks amazing. Uh, the graphics are beautiful. It just looks fun. The changes they made with multiplayer, they taking some liberties there. I'm glad they're doing it. I'm glad they're not being scared and saying, let's just do what Bungie's been doing because we don't want to freak anybody out and get people mad and raging on us. No, they say, hey, let's take it, let's take it to the next level. A world where the VR and the DMR can exist, I think that's great. All the specializations and customizations that you can do to your armor that has not really existed in Halo before, that might have been in other shooter games. So I like that, that they're not afraid to take aspects from other games and still be Halo. Spartan Ops to me is revolutionary. Like, I haven't seen anything like that before. Nothing I've really noticed. The way they're packaging this, I think this is how you do DLC, quite honestly. <laughs> it doesn't feel like they're just milking this. It doesn't feel like they're just going to mess it up or ruin it, run to the ground. It really feels like they make some improvements here and this is really going to take it to the next stage. And you know, it just feels like, it feels good. I feel good about Halo 4 and it's coming out tomorrow. I really want to play it. I'm looking forward to playing it. I know all of the bunch of people want to play it, oh, and yeah. uh, <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be a game changer thing. And I think it's going to continue to have its place in first person shooters and gaming as it should have. Uh, 343 Industries, take my hat off to you for jumping out there and doing this. Good I think job, you guys are doing a good job, and um, this game's going to be awesome. I think. Awesome. I think. <laughs> when you have a life as awesome as mine, you live it, and you live it hard. Today's Awesome Life tip is be nice online, okay? There's a new game coming out. You're gonna run into a lot of people, a lot of different people, because now there's gonna be a whole bunch of new people hopping on, people from the other Halo games. Don't be a jerk. If you're a pro player, because you've been playing Halo since Halo 1 came out, and now you're Halo 4, and you got some new noob coming on now who hasn't played any of the games, don't be a jerk and start saying, you should never play Halo again, and start like raging on them, try to kick them out the game. Don't, don't do dumb stuff like that. Be nice. It's a community. Online at its best is a community. People can get together, help each other out, have fun, meet people across the world, that kind of thing. At its worst, it's a place of just hatred and the cesspool of just the worst of humanity. Don't make it like that. Make a choice today to be a better person. Just say, you know what? I could jerk, be a jerk. I could rage. They'll never be able to find me. I can say that I want to them. Just don't do that. Be a human being. You know, just have some decency, some human decency and say, hey, you know what? I don't know what this person is, who this person is, what they're going through, that kind of thing. Let me just be nice because you don't know who you're talking to on the other end. If you start making people not want to play online, it gets bad stigma to online or bad stigma to a game. That's not good. No one wants that. Let's not leave it to trolls now to just run online gaming. That's not cool. Let's change this around. And that's your awesome life tip of the day. Halo 3 had, so, had a really great ending to it. And I'm like, you know what, this is my, this is one of my favorite video game stories ever. And so for them to be like, add more to it, I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know, man. You know, I'm kind of worried about where they're going with it. But, uh, other than that, the multiplayer looks solid, man. You know, I'm excited for it. I, I really like what they're doing. I really kind of like these new weapons that they're bringing in. I'm, ex I'm excited for it. You know, I'm going to go out, I'm going to, I'm going to get it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play this game. I'm going to play it up. I'm going to have a party time. You guys should join me. We'll have a Halo party time. Woo! 
All right, guys, that wraps it up for this week. Leave some comments. Let us know what you think about the Halo series, the Halo franchise. What are some of your favorite memories and experiences? You know, what do you think about Halo 4? Are you nervous? You're excited? And once you get the game tomorrow, come back to this video and leave comments about how much fun you're having or not having. I don't think anybody's not going to have fun. Come on. But anyway, Halo. so we'll see you next time, guys. Remember the LCSS. Like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next week. Remember, your face has just been rocked. We'd like to take a moment to give a very special thanks to Video Game Heaven for allowing us to use their location to film our skit. Video Game Heaven is the best place Amped and Rose to buy, sell, and trade movies and games from Atari to the PS3. It's located at 681 North Battlefield Boulevard in Chesapeake. Give them a call today for more information or visit their link in the description of this video. Check out Video Game Heaven today. Alright guys, time for next week's topic. Now we all know games are meant to entertain us, but do they hold any value beyond that? Can they inform, uh, educate, even have artistic or cultural value? Let us know what you think. You can tweet us at the Barnes Rose and leave your thoughts there, or we'll post it on Facebook. You can even upload a video to YouTube explaining your thoughts in the form of a video blog, and if it's selected, it will be included in our show as a fan video response. Or wait till Wednesday for a blog that will be posted on thebarnesrose.com, and I'll get more details on this topic, and you can leave your comment there. All of the top comments will be collected and included in the next episode of Face Rocket, so fire away. Thanks, guys. Okay, is everybody ready? Oh, boom. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Alright. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What is No, no. You're you, you no. gonna start playing. Five, oh, four, sorry. three, two, one. Alright, we're shooting. 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 What marathon? No, let's just play. Alright. Gosh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Headshot, you like that noob? You feel that? Oh, hey idiot, you betrayed <laughs> It was a misunderstanding. <laughs> it was a misunderstanding. <laughs> we worked it out. The Godfather, the Godfather. Capiche, uh, it was a, it was a misunderstanding. Because, but then she came and made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> say hello to my little friend. Anyways. I think he said that a little more passionate. Okay, say it's misunderstanding. Say hello. <laughs>